what's the most memorable sharpshooter you ever did on someone? Ooh, I would have to say the most memorable would be the very first time that anyone has ever put somebody in the sharpshooter, two people in the sharpshooter at the same time. So the first time I ever put two women in the sharpshooter at the same time was the first time it's ever been done. It was against Lay Cool. And it was in our first ever women table match in WWE. And I was like, oh my God, it, was, it wasn't easy. It took a lot of like, it took a lot of like coordination because it's two people <laughs> yeah. stacked and it's, it's a lot of timing, but like, it was so cool when we did it because it had never been done. So that was one of the most special sharpshooters that I've ever done. Second, who's your favorite person to put in the sharpshooter? <laughs> Ooh, um, my favorite person to put in the sharpshooter would have to be Charlotte Flair because her legs are long and she's, it's just perfect. When the longer your legs, the better it is. <laughs> the easier it is to tie you up. <laughs> That's one of the things I didn't get to cover here, but your guys' match at TakeOver, I feel like, is one of those underrated TakeOver matches that people don't give enough credit to helping launch the brand. I know it wasn't the first special, but it was the first TakeOver, and I feel like that match yeah. really helped put NXT on the map uh, for the women's division following the Paige and Emma match. Yeah, and that and that you know match still gets talked about so much today, even five, six years later, um, because it was like... You know, we saw the Emma Page match, which was phenomenal, but a lot of people were like, can the women keep up with that? Because Paige and Emma really set the tone. So for the very first ever takeover to be a part of that match, I remember being asked about it and if I would like to do it. And of course I jumped at the opportunity to go to NXT because I could see the up and coming women that were training there and doing their thing. And I could also see that Triple H was kind of shifting gears as far as how women were being utilized. And so I jumped at the opportunity to do it. And again, going back to Triple H, I think he's been somebody that's been very helpful in, in kind of giving women more opportunities as far as showcasing what they can do. We see that at NXT a lot. Uh, he doesn't necessarily treat the women like they're, okay, these are women, they're gonna get this moment. He treats talent like talent. If you're talented and you're good, you're gonna get an opportunity. And he, uh, he said to me before the match, or you know, when we were talking about everything that day, I asked him how much time we had. Because normally when you have matches, you get a time limit. So yeah. you'll get 15 or, you know, you'll, you'll get a time limit. He was the first person and, the only, and to this day, it's been the only moment in my career this has ever happened. But Triple H said, you don't have a time limit. Do your thing. <laughs> Just do what you want to do. And I remember being like, I don't have a time limit. And we ended, Ashley and I, Charlotte and I ended up having this long, beautiful match because there was no handcuffs on us. We literally did what we needed to do and tell the story that we needed to tell. And we brought raw emotions, passion. You know, it was a very simple match and it was very easy to understand. There wasn't even a long build for it. There was like one video that we filmed, you know, of us, the, the build was, it was the simple story that everybody understood. And it was me trying to show that I had always had this inside of me. I was just waiting for the right moment to be able to showcase my abilities. And then for Charlotte Flair, it was her showing Hey, I'm not just Ric Flair's daughter. I'm I'm good too, and I just I deserve to be here, and I belong here. And it just showed everyone. We just showed everyone that with the opportunity and with that, you know, with two women that wanted to work their asses off, we we got to make magic. And and again, I bring up Triple H not giving us the time limit because I don't know if that match could have been as good as it was had we gotten ten minutes or twelve minutes. It needed the time. And we might not have gotten that time anywhere else. Yes. Uh, lastly, what's one time you did the sharpshooter that you wish you could take back for whatever reason? Ooh. Um... <laughs> there was a time that I put Tyson Kidd, my husband, in a sharpshooter. And it's gone. It's got like, an image that's literally gone viral of me, like, tapping him out. <laughs> and TJ's like, gosh, I don't know why you have to put me in the sharpshooter. Like, of all the things you could have done. It was, yeah, it was when I put Tyson in the sharpshooter. I was like, you know what? I look kind of like a jerk. <laughs> I'm like, sometimes you just need to let TJ be TJ and stop trying to be the best. But I always say to TJ, when I'm right, I'm right. And when I'm wrong, I'm still right. So make sure to follow us on all social media platforms at WWE on Fox and use the hashtag WWE Backstage. Let us know what's on your mind.